Republican candidate for Congress, 1st District, Minnesota. And uh, as I said, I've been out here campaigning for just about a year. And one of the most important issues in the race that I addressed right from the beginning was making sure that the United States of America was protected, not just from terrorism, but from other, other things that could hurt our country, hurt our people. And I felt so strongly about it from the beginning of this campaign, I put it right on my literature, Defending America and You. It's right there. And not too many people, I think, have ever run for office with that kind of tagline. The reason I do that is because I believe that the first responsibility of the federal government and the first responsibility of anyone who is going to serve as a federal office holder, like a member of Congress, the first responsibility is to protect the United States and to protect the people of southern Minnesota, in this case, because I would be a representative of southern Minnesota. Now, in the news recently, the Wall Street Journal reported that President Obama is considering taking unilateral executive action, executive order action, to close the Guantanamo Bay prison in Cuba. And the reason that's a problem is because if those prisoners, those the worst, most ruthless terrorists in the world, Islamic terrorists, if they're brought into the United States, very good chance that they're going to be housed, some of them, right over here in the Federal Medical Center in Rochester. Is this a, a, a federal facility that takes care of prisoners who are seriously ill and have other ailments? And it could just be any prisoner. Now, the, uh, the policy of my opponent, Congressman Tim Walz, is very reckless in this area. First of all, he has voted to close the Guantanamo Bay prison in Cuba and bring those prisoners into the United States. But he also has an additional policy, and that is he's open to bringing those prisoners right here to Rochester and housing them at the federal medical facility. That's reckless. That's wrong. That's something that I would vehemently oppose, and I'll explain what I would do as congressman to make sure that that didn't happen. Now, as things presently stand, there are there, the people of southern Minnesota, the people of Rochester, are protected from the Islamic terrorists in Guantanamo Bay by 1,875 miles an ocean and about six barbed wires there inside. If the congressman has his way, they'll be right across the street in that facility two miles from the door of the Mayo Clinic. That's completely unacceptable. Now, it's bad enough that the congressman has supported President Obama's open borders policy, which places us at risk for Islamic terrorism, like the ISIS terrorists infiltrating our borders, and now the Ebola virus. But to actively go out and have a policy that would effectively recruit the terrorists and bring them to Rochester is just wrong. Now, let's just put it this way. Unlike Congressman Walz, I understand that the way to protect the United States and the people of southern Minnesota from terrorists and terrorism is to keep the terrorists the hell out of the United States and as far away from Rochester and southern Minnesota as possible. And that would be my policy. Now, in the Congress, once I get to serving there, one of the first acts that I'll take is to put an appropriations measure out there, an amendment, to prohibit the spending of the Department of Justice for the Department of Defense, to transfer the prisoners from Guantanamo Bay, and to bring them into the state of the Minnesota, specifically here to the Rochester Federal Medical Facility.